Stock market is making a huge pullback, and I'm going to give you some strategies on how to preserve your capital when the market is pulling back as strongly as it is today. If you guys enjoy this video, please remember to hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, share with your friends. We're on the road to 1,000 subscribers. So what is going on right now? Right now, we saw the S&P 500 get up to about 384. So that's the SPY that we're talking about right now. And it hit that top twice this morning. And what happened was, as it hit the second time, it decided to make a humongous pullback. And we fell down to about 375.26. So what is going on? This is a typical pattern that happens in the stock market. We hit a top resistance head and shoulders pattern. If you guys want to know what that is, I'll put a little link up in the top of my top six trading patterns. But this is beside the point. This is just for normal people to understand what's going on and how they can preserve their capital. So what is going on right now is that the whole market is making a huge pullback. We've been on a huge rally since, uh, since March, practically. We had a couple pullbacks, but we've just been rallying extreme heights since then. Right now, we've been noticing that Tesla's falling down. As of today, Tesla's down about 6% as of recording this video. And we are wondering, how can we make money with Tesla going down? So with Tesla going down, since it's in the S&P 500, it is bringing the whole futures uh, contract down with it. And along with that, we have ARK Invest with Kathy Wood. She just made a huge position in Tesla, and she is down a lot with her shares and her ETF as well. So what is going on is that the whole market is pulling back because there's only been 3% cash that was in the market or left to be put into the market. And with this stalled out time with the stimulus and treasury yields going up, the market found its way to correct itself. Now, what we see when we look at the larger time frames is that if we set up a standard deviation, we've been at the upper band and we've just hit it about a week ago when we hit all time highs. By that being said, we are looking at a pullback between a 15 to 20 to 30 percent pullback. And how did I come up with this justification? With the pullback, we can see that back in December 2018, we had a similar head and shoulders pattern and it pulled back about 17 percent. So we are down about 5 percent, an additional 2, 3 percent from that uh, from last week. So overall, we're looking at another drop to about the 350, 360, 350 level on the S&P 500, or the SPY is what I'm talking about right now. So with that being said, we could see it fall back to about that 350 mark. So how can you make money if it falls to that 350 mark? That would be off of puts or shorting your shares. So right now we can see that after the OPEC deal, oil is up. So you could invest into oil if you would like, but those are going to be coming down too with the overall market. The way you can make money is if you really believe in your company that you're invested in, you can lend out those shares to people to buy, and then you can purchase those shares back at a lower price when you find that the stock market has reached a bottom for what you believe in. The next thing you can do is buy puts. I would buy more of a long-term contracts, and that way you can be able to kind of reserve your capital, Not you won't be making as much, but you can still make 10, 20, 30, 40% if you buy a month or two out. And then if it does bounce, you won't lose as much, you'll only lose 10, 20%. So you can set a stop loss on that as well. The next thing you can do, which is a little bit more risky, is buy some short-term puts. That way you can profit a lot off of these huge gap ups and gap downs, but you can lose a lot. So just make sure you know that all of your initial investment could be lost with a put that is out of the money. Now, the last strategy that you can do right now to help preserve your capital is start dollar cost averaging. The best way to overall beat the market is to constantly invest your money. If you invest $1,000 every single month, or let's be more realistic here, if you're investing $250 to $500 a month, keep investing that into your ETFs and index funds, and then you'll be able to get some at a lower price, and then still be able to invest for your long-term retirement. You should not be freaking out right now if you are trying to save for retirement. This is the big picture. You keep buying, keep buying every single month, and then you will end up beating the market and averaging an 8% return. With that being said, I did want to quickly touch on that everything is a sea of red right now, and you need to just hide your emotions. Do not try to sell and buy back at a lower price, you will end up losing in the long run because we do not know what the bottom is. But an estimated guess between the simple moving average 
on the daily chart and the weekly chart is about 350 on the SPY or 3,500. And we could see a full pullback to a more realistic, uh, this would be when there's a next crash, which would be around the 255 or 2,500 level. And the reason because of that is that with the way the standard deviation works, it likes to stay within a time frame. It likes to stay near that middle line of the standard deviation. It doesn't like staying near the outer borders. And because of the COVID crash that happened back in March of last year, it is trying to rebound too quickly where it's not healthy for the market. So be prepared. Um, you now know how you can make some extra money on the way down if you wanna to try to short your shares and buy them back at a shorter price if you believe in the company long-term. You can buy puts on the longer-term side uh, and then you'll be able to make that money uh, at a higher rate of return. Just make sure it's only about five to 10% of your portfolio. Do not go all in on puts. The last thing you can do is just continue to dollar average. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like this video, share with your friends and family, and let's get to 1,000 subscribers. Stay safe, everyone.